Okay, all right, so here's our problem. We're gonna walk five kilometers to the east, then we're gonna go six kilometers at an angle. So the angle on this should be the south of east angle. So this angle right here is our 30 degrees south of east, okay? So we're looking for the displacement. So ultimately, I'm looking for this distance from here to here, looking for this vector. from here to here. Okay, all right, so here's what we're gonna do. Let me actually just give you the big picture view of what you're gonna look to, look to try to do first, and then we'll go ahead and um, we'll do it. So here's what, actually here's what's not to do. This is what I'll see all the time. I ask you for this, and you'll go five squared plus six squared equals c squared. Why can we not go five squared plus six squared equals c squared? This is not a right triangle. So Pythagorean theorem only works with right triangles, so we can't do that. So here's what you're going to try to do. What you're gonna try to do is construct a triangle. You're gonna try to create a right triangle. So if I can find this piece and this piece, of my blue vector here. If I can find these two pieces, then I can use the Pythagorean theorem to find this resultant. So I wanna somehow get these two pieces and then I can find this, okay? So here's kind of the steps you're gonna take and I'll write out the steps for you for people that like steps and then we'll go ahead and do it. So step number one is you're gonna change all your angled vectors into their components. Okay, X, I should write X, Y. They're X, Y components. So any of your vectors that have um, angles, you're going to go ahead and change those into x's and y's, like we did in the warm-up. So for example, this first one, this purple vector here, is already just an x vector, so we don't have to mess with that one at all. This green vector, though, is at an angle. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that green vector into well, we're gonna find the components of this green vector. So we're gonna find this x component and this y component here. Just simply call it green x and green y. So you'll do that with any angled vector. So if you have two or three angled vectors, you'll have to do that with all of them. In this case, we only have um, one. So let's do the first one. Let's find the x here. So what's the shortcut to find the x? We're gonna use Sokotoa. This is the adjacent side. Do we use sine, cosine, or tangent for this? Cosine. Anyone remember the shortcut to find this? Six, cosine, 30. So that side, that x side right there is gonna be six, cosine, 30. Is that about four point something? Five point? Five point one nine six. So I'm just gonna go to three digits. We'll go to five point two zero. Is that number confirmed by the way? Yeah. Okay, so that's our X side, that's our X component. Let's get the Y side. What's the short, this is the opposite side. So we're gonna use sine, cosine, or tangent. Sign, what's the shortcut for this? Six, sine 30. And we can all do this one in our head, right? If not, you can plug it in. 
that's going to be 3. Okay, so that's step one. We're going to just change everything into its components. Okay, hopefully some of you can see where I'm going with this here. We're trying to find this blue triangle. So now that we've kind of pieced together some of these, let's say, for example, this blue side. Do I know what this blue side is going to be? going to be 3, right? It's the same as this green side over here. So this right here is the same as this. So this is going to be 3. What about this long blue side? Okay, 10.2, right? And how do we get 10.2? That's the sum of the 5 plus the 5.2, right? That's the sum. This whole piece makes up those two little pieces. So that's 5 plus 5.2 gives us 10.2. So those of you that like steps, step two is you're going to add up or sometimes you subtract. We didn't do that this time, but sometimes you subtract. Add or subtract all the components to each other. So what I mean by that is add up all the x's with the x's, all the y's with the y's. And so these were both x's, we added them up. This one, there was only one y. Remember, this was already just an x, it didn't have a y. So you just use this one here. If you draw the picture, it should, you should be able to visualize how it pieces together. Okay, so remember, we're looking for this blue triangle here because, because why? Ultimately, what are we trying to find out? Okay, this whole, this hypotenuse of this blue triangle, right? And so the blue triangle, essentially, if I pull it out to the side, looks like this, where this is 3, and this is 10.2, and now we can find our C. So step number 3, the final step, is we're going to solve the, we usually use the word resultant triangle using, well to find the hypotenuse, what are we going to use? Pythagorean theorem. To find the angle, what are we going to use? one of the Sokotoas, right? And I'll just tell you right now, the best one to use is the tangent. So we'll use Pythagorean Theorem and tangent to find those. Okay, so why don't you guys go ahead and find what we're looking for. It's going to be about 10.8 or something? 10.6? Remember, we do want to get our units back. This is kilometers. Okay. All right, and then here's our triangle. Which angle are we looking for? We're we looking for angle number one or angle number two? Number one, okay? Remember, you always base it on how where you started. So we started drawing our blue triangle down and across, down and across, so we want that angle. Remember, you want your angle to make sense. We are southeasterly, right? So we want our direction to be southeasterly. If we do this, it's northwesterly. It doesn't make sense. So we do want that angle. So we'll go tangent equals, we're doing this one, right? Opposite is 10.2. Adjacent is 3. So 
So inverse tangent size that. 10.2 over 3 equals. Now make sure your angle makes sense. Based on this, is this going to be a large angle or a small angle? Large angle, yeah. This is a real long side. This is a short side, so it's probably in the 70 degree range, I'm guessing. What are you getting for the actual angle? 73.6. All right, and how do we state this angle? East of south. Okay, so this is to the east of south, right? To the east of south. 